Okay, here we are looking at the MATLAB command window. I'm going to clear all and uh, then start the game, RP game one player version 1.1. So here we go, I need to enter in a three digit code. I'm gonna be subject 999. I need to put in my name. I need to uh, make up a participant ID and that's it. Probably you'll see a little flash here to indicate that the sync isn't working on this little laptop. That's all right. Here's the background. Uh, subject waits and sees this uh, until somebody tells that subject to press the S key to begin. So I'm going to press S. There we are. And here's my cursor. And I uh, try to move that around slow so we can all see it. Uh, the way that this is set up, we've got a calendar up here. Uh, all of my information, me, the player, is over here on the left. Uh, the color is one of three colors. I uh, kind of a green telling me I'm healthy, a red telling me I'm in the warning zone, uh, and then a black telling me that I'm dead and can't play for the remainder of the period. Um, the, uh, the thermometer here, of course, just represents the number of cattle, as it says. And uh, you can see that there's a threshold of 64. It's red below that, green above it. Uh, on the far right hand side is the other player's information, minimal information, just uh, in uh, an avatar icon showing the number of cattle and labeled other player. Uh, there's a little bit more that pops up over there during the play. In the middle is cattle information. That's information about exchanges such as uh, requests and grants of transfers. So I'm going to go ahead and begin here. Click begin and uh, that took us up to year one. Uh, you saw that it waited for the other player, uh, which is a dummy in this case, to respond. Now I need to roll the die. I'm going to click births. I had four cows born this year. I need to click shock. Uh, I have a shock of none. The other player rolled their die as well. And now uh, the program is asking me, do I want to ask for cattle? I'm going to go ahead and say no. I've got 104. I don't need to. Other player is deciding the same thing. Now, the other player, before seeing whether I asked for cattle or not, the other player had to decide whether they wanted to ask for cattle. And you can see here uh, the pop-up that they did not. The other player is requesting zero cattle. I could go ahead and choose to give cattle if I wanted, uh, indiscriminate giving, but I'm going to say no. Cat uh, player didn't request, so I'll say no. I'm told that I received zero cattle, and then this whole middle area pops up with an end of year report. And you can see, I hope you can see here, it says you have finished another year of cattle herding. Number of cows in your herd, 104, that's me over here. Number of cows in other players' herd, 105, that's here. Uh, and it's giving me some uh, feedback information. You are alive, and the other player is alive. As you'll see, those will change to warnings uh, if you drop down below 64, and if you don't get back up to above 64, the threshold, it will let you know that, uh, that you're dead. So let's continue on here, and I'm just going to play another year, births, shock, ask for cattle. I'm going to go ahead and ask this time. And I'm going to be a little bit unfair and ask for 60 cattle. Got to click ask now. And uh, the other player has not received any cattle. Now that didn't update because the other player doesn't know uh, that I've asked uh, at that point. And we're not going to update either the color or the number until the end of the, the round. Especially the number. Uh, I'm sorry, especially the color. Because that indicates uh, warning or death, which can only happen at the end of the year. Uh, do I want to give cattle? No, not this time. Waiting. All right, now you can look up here and see that the, uh, the number decreased down to 53, but the player's color stayed green until the actual end of the year arrived, and that's when it turned red. Uh, you can see that the other player now in the end of year report here, the other player is almost dead. They will die next year if they do not have more than 64 cattle. Let's continue. Again, births, shock, I'm still doing okay. Do I want to ask for cattle? No, I think not. 
The other player is now going to ask with restraint, as it turns out, only 30 cattle, uh, which is what they need in order to survive. Do I want to give cattle? Yes. And I'm going to give all 30 that were requested. Give. And here we go. All right, now the other player is alive again, and I could continue, but I'm going to go ahead and stop recording so that this movie doesn't get unwieldly large.